Hello everybody, my Timothy's, and welcome back to Achievements to Z, where I plan on getting every single Hearts of Iron 4 achievement. It's going really well. Now, after the last set of France achievements, uh, I'm going to take a break from ones that are mind-numbingly painful. Hopefully this isn't foreshadowing. And instead move into some that I've been looking forward to giving a go. And that comes down to playing Germany, which is probably one of the most fun nations in Hearts of Iron 4. Which is, I guess, kind of weird if you think about the historical precedent of saying that out loud. <laughs> it's not a political statement, mother. It's my life. Uh, but yeah, this is your daily reminder that you've got to hit the subscribe button for Alf Landon at 800,000 subscribers. Um, but seriously, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, uh, it would be greatly appreciated for, um everyone's sanity at this point. Yeah, so unsurprisingly playing Germany, there are quite a few achievements we're going to be going for today, like buy beer alone, which I actually did quite recently. Um, get yourself a whole bunch of famous beer producing provinces, and then one of them that's going to be a little interesting is capitulating Poland and France before January 1940. Uh, we also have one where we've got to control the British mainland as Germany, and not much fun in Stalingrad as Germany capitulate the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad. So those are the ones we're aiming for today. Will we get them? I really hope so. All right, obviously we're gonna have to go for a major early war today, uh, simply for the fact we need to capitulate both France and Poland before 1940, so I guess we're gonna get started on doing that immediately. All right, the plan's pretty simple, I say. I don't actually have a plan, but it must start with us taking out Poland, I suppose. Uh, we're also gonna go ahead and get ourselves a collab going on France, just so when it does come to occupying them, it's going to be a lot easier for us. Uh, I'm also gonna update my fire and just put a line machine gun and a uh, cannon one on it with a drop tank. It's probably our best bet starting off early until we get heavy machine guns. Hey, right, let's hope that just with our air force and calves going, uh, we can actually take down the Polish early enough here. Easy peasy. Just gonna take it all and then get ready for France immediately. Right, so we've got ourselves a war goal on France and they are in the Allies, which is what we already knew was gonna happen anyway. And the plan is not to go around the match, no, but go over the Maginot. I'm also not going to bother going down my focus to get Austria and Bohemia and stuff. I'm just going to declare war on them manually after I've capitulated France and uh, then we'll deal with Britain after we've got everyone we want in the peace conference. Anyway, moment of truth, I dare say. And that should capitulate them. Yep, immediately. And first achievement down through Blitzkrieg. Uh, I'm not going to bother actually setting up Vichy France. We will just uh, occupy them ourselves as well. Okay, now before we capitulate Britain as well, we are just gonna go ahead and just fire on everything else we need. There go the Czechs, finally the Danes and also the Dutch, the Belgians and the Luxembourg Burs. Alright, now with the declaration on the Belgians, the last thing I want to do is get Ireland in the war because we do need to own them for the achievement and then we're gonna go ahead and take the British down. Once again, a useful tip for dropping your paratroopers is to not put any air up. Therefore, the AI won't put any air up in those regions, and you can just go ahead and get over there for free. Uh, I imagine this is probably going to take us a couple attempts, though, to find something that's empty for us to land on. So we're going to go through quite a few paratroopers here. That one didn't go too well, so I'm going to instead try to go for the north as well, because I had quite a bit down here. Right, another day, another me throwing uh, German paratroopers to their death. <laughs> um... Well, I was just about to say, uh, I got the landing, uh, <laughs> but they're dead. And uh, best part is to have so much war score and no one else is in the war but me. I just stole all of their navies, which is going to come in very handy. And there you go. Another one down. Operation Sea Lion owned all of the UK. And look at that big, beautiful navy. Right, so the next big one we're going for is capitulating the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad. So, uh, yeah, it's time to go in. All right, just kidding. The first thing we're going to do is is get ourselves a full collab on the Russians, which is going to make things a lot easier for us. But obviously taking our time to get a full collab on the Soviets is going to take us a while, so we might as well keep ourselves busy by going to war with the Americans. Now, there's nothing I actually need to take the Americans down for. Uh, I just quite literally have nothing else to do right now. And in we go. Yeah, and unsurprisingly, the Americans are going to be absolutely atrociously weak, so this should be uh, pretty 
easy one for us to roll over. All right, looks like the American army is pretty much gone now, and we have our first collab done on the uh, the Soviets. Just kind of working on our second one. Then we got to do one more after that, and we're good to go. But yeah, at some point, as well, the Japanese will come for us. Um, I'm just gonna ignore that issue until it becomes an issue, though. Um, Hopefully not right now. So we have Soviets just had their little winter war over there. Meanwhile, I'm halfway through the United States of America. And there we go. Not going to bother doing any puppeting or any such things. We are just going to take it all. And once again, I'm going to help myself to the Navy. Uh, there is a reason I need to take everything by hand. Otherwise, I would puppet them. But sadly, something will come up later that will be a surprise. All right, we're finally on our last collab for the Soviets too. So we're just going to go ahead, just find them and get this thing started. All right, it is time for us to go ahead and do <laughs> hopefully get this achievement. Now, there is a little trick to this. You can call your allies in and they can occupy the state of Stalingrad and have troops in the state. It's only me that can't do it. But if we've got everything correct anyway, we shouldn't have to actually take Stalingrad and uh, they should capitulate uh, before that if we just go around it and there we go we got the full collab on the Soviets which means uh, they should go down pretty easy but I will still give all the land down here as much as I can to the Romanians so that uh, hopefully I don't make an oopsie doopsie down here all right it's all going well we are getting a little bit close to that state down there but it does not matter as far as I'm aware because they are 94% of the way Capitulated, which means I only need a couple more promises and they should be good to go. And there you go. That's them capitulated and I never set foot anywhere near Stalingrad. So I should get the achievement as soon as we're out the peace conference. And there you go. Not much fun in Stalingrad. And as soon as we took that as well, the Japanese declared war on us. Thank you, Japan. Now, unfortunately for the Japanese, I have very large navies all over the place. The Japanese attack me does put a bit of a form in my side as I really don't can't be bothered to fight them honestly but uh if we do this quickly enough it should be fine again i really wasn't wanting to deal with this japan uh but you've truly left me no choice as usual yeah, we just want to deal with this as quickly as possible as there, <laughs> there's something else we need to do that's uh, way more pressing than japan there we go and uh there are pieces of land i really want to take but sadly i don't think we're gonna be able to do it because again china has been at war for a long time and they got a lot more points than I do. Yeah, I couldn't get any of the land I wanted, sadly. Uh, <laughs> I say that as I took all of Japan, but I really wanted Manchuria because it would be a better supply base for us when we have to invade China because we will have to invade China for this province. Uh, but for now, there is something that I've been putting off. Yep, as you can see, never bothered actually picking a side over here. So <laughs> it's time to oppose Schmidler. So yeah, not picking a side means I can also get the achievements for Imperial Germany, which we're going to need to bring the Kaiser back, like this one right here, and also the one where we overthrow Italy and put the rightful ruler in charge, not this jabroni, uh, who I may add is currently failing to invade Switzerland. Uh, but yes, I'm about to plunge our entire empire, which is very, very large at this point, into a civil war. Uh, but yeah, I'm really hoping it goes a lot better than I think it might go. Okay, moment of truth. What are we actually going to own? We own everything. Okay, perfect. All right, now we do also have to deal with our old faction members, Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria, but that shouldn't be too much much of a bother as long as we capitulate Germany, which um, sounds kind of weird considering I am Germany. There we go. Germany dealt with. Now we just need to turn our attention to our old quote unquote friends. Oh, that might be a little bit interesting. Uh, the Italians joined. Now I'm not worried too much. Uh, I think I can hold the line, but that might mess up the achievement. Yugoslavia joined them as well, apparently, but uh, my Panthers go vroom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't even get this Italy achievement because of the puppet releasing. So this one might be a write-off. Um, oh, we can't even do it anyway because of Wilhelm II. <laughs> Wilhelm II's dead. We've got Wilhelm III, but it doesn't matter. We should get the other Imperial one, so we'll have to come back to this one at another point. Also, the war can't end because Portugal's in it. Apparently, that that's, that's enough to stop it ending. <laughs> uh, yeah, I also want to note that I didn't get Wilhelm III uh, by doing the focus. I'm actually locked out of it because I'm still at war since the Civil War. Uh, I actually got him because Mackinson died. I was going to invade.
hate Spain, but they will just straight up join a faction with me, so we're gonna <laughs> go ahead and call it something very fitting. <laughs> oh, because I was justifying on them just a second ago, I get my own alert up here that I am justifying on my ally. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, no idea how Portugal qualified as a... Uh, <laughs> There's a major power there, but finally we're done. Oh yeah, truly getting the whole gang back together here. We got Turkey in our faction too. All right, so we can't get the Italy one, but we can get this one here. We just need to complete the focus for it. And also we can get the one that we were obviously going for at the start, but we need to take out China, which we will do at some point. Uh, when I did my focus, I just got kicked out of my own faction. So uh, now Spain and Turkey <laughs> are once again together in pay. So obviously we've already done all the hard parts of being the uh, Imperial Germans. Uh, I'm not too sure why my name is stuck as the <laughs> German military junta though. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward. Uh, I think it's because we had to bypass uh, these two focuses, which has probably messed it up. But uh, you know what? I <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, there you go. First one down. Our uh, other place in the sun, which is to occupy Caribbean Island. Island, which, um, yeah, we've got quite a few, surprisingly. Oh, yeah, I forgot they'll just straight up give it to you as well, so that should be, there you go, buy beer alone. Yeah, there you go, that is technically all we can do right now. There is, uh, nothing else interesting that we could attempt, at least in this German playthrough. Ha have a, have a network strength 50% in Casablanca, well, I guess we're doing that. I'm just gonna find them <laughs> in my giant list of people I've Conquered. There we go, gave it back to Spanish Morocco, and then I could build my spy network up and some reason get 50% over there. Wow, amazing. Uh, we can also do this one quite easily, where we get a production license from at least five to seven major powers. So we can easily get one from Italy, because right now they exist, and surely they have something I need, right? There you go. I, I guess I haven't researched the armored train. I'm just gonna go back to my big list of <laughs> people that I've got to go find the other major powers. And there we go. There it is. Achievement unlocked. Lethal straight. Yeah, now means I can have all of my own favorite trains from across the world. <laughs> While we're waiting for our uh, spy network to build over here in Morocco, I think it'd be criminal if we didn't take down the last faction remaining in the world other than pain. Oh, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Play it, Sam! Enough dilly-dallying around. Let's uh, finish this off, shall we? I hate the fact there are Spanish volunteers here. Oh, there you go. Also got myself the, the uh, achievement where you get 90% intel on everything you majib on a major. So, yeah, that was actually worth invading China for. Oh, and yeah, also, speaking of the invasion of China, it's going well, except for the Soviet front, where I have just decided I can't see the Soviet front. And there we go. Sorted. Nice. Easy peasy. Uh, now, there are a couple more we could get. Like, the Free Egypt one, uh, all you have to do is release yourself as Egypt, then up your autonomy until you're free. But there's no point really doing it in this video. I'm sure there's something more interesting we can do in that regards. The same goes with the hoofing it around with Arabia. Um, but we will have to come back and get ourselves the, uh, the Wilhelm II one, which will be super easy. Don't worry about that one. And then we've also got to come back and get the the fascist German ones that we didn't get. Um, like turning France to fascism and also having the entire world be fascist. But we could do that as any nation, I think, maybe. Potentially, New World Order. Yeah, we could do that as any nation. Uh, but yeah, that was a whole bunch of more achievements done, as you can see. It was very fun. Uh, the Germans were always good to have a go, and we can even go ahead and just get rid of these guys that we released just for the achievement. Yeah, uh, it is a little bit sad we couldn't get the uh, Italian one, but I didn't realize you need Wilhelm II for it. I thought Wilhelm III would be good enough, but uh, alas, he was worthless. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video and you want to continue... Uh, watching my journey in the of doing achievements then feel free to hit the sub button down below but anyway until next time guys goodbye